Here's how to fix RCS messaging not working on your iPhone. Now, if you're on your iPhone and you want to use RCS messaging so that if you text with someone with an Android phone, it still can have the reactions and the same feel as if you were texting them if they had iMessage. I'll show you how to fix that, but first hit the subscribe button down below. Really helps me out. Thanks guys. Now, the first thing we'll do is head into your settings and we'll scroll to the very bottom and tap on apps. Now, we need to get into our messaging to be able to enable this. So the first thing we need to do is tap on messages and scroll down towards the bottom. You should see under text messages, RCS messaging. And I can tap on it. It says send and receive messages using RCS uses wireless data. You can always toggle this off if it's not working correctly and then toggle it back on. However, some people might not see the ability to turn on and off RCS messaging. And if you don't necessarily see it, this help page by Apple, if you scroll down here, there are a couple different things that it says are required. To use RCS, you need iOS 18 or later, and you need a carrier that supports this. So you can see here, learn whether your carrier supports it. You can go through the long list of various countries and various carriers in that country to see if they support RCS messaging. Now, if they do support it, there are a couple things you can do to get it fixed. Let's hop into your settings here and let's go back, all the way back. We're gonna tap on general and software update. Again, it says you need iOS 18 or later. So if you don't have iOS 18, just upgrade it to the latest iOS operating system and then you'll be good to go. The second thing you can do is go all the way back here and sometimes your cellular plan or your eSIM just needs to kind of be reset to enable that. We're gonna tap on cellular here and you can see under AT&T, which is what I have in the United States, I'm gonna to toggle off, turn on this line. So this essentially disconnects my eSIM. You can see at the very top right, I have no signal and it just says SOS. Now I can tap on this again and I can turn it back on. And just like that, it will reinitiate and enable my line and it will reconnect to my carrier. A lot of times there's bugs or glitches in there that just by turning off your line through your eSIM and re-enabling it will re-enable the connection between your phone and your carrier and it will send over the ability to turn on and use RCS message. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks, guys.